guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my fluid art channel, Cathartistry, by Kathy Nordland. Today I'm going to do a, um, call it a nebula pour. It's basically, it looks like a uh, universe dark sky with some colors in it and kind of a Dutch pour that goes across, uh, but it spreads out as it would uh, in the universe. Anyway, it's on a gallery wrapped 12 by 24 canvas, as you can see. And since I'm doing a dark background, I've painted black around the sides here, uh, which will hopefully um, allow the paint to flow a little better and will prevent seeing white bits of white canvas once you're all done. So today, the background is going to be my my midnight blue mix, which is a combination of Liquitex uh, black, Mars black, with Amsterdam. I think it's uh, yeah Prussian blue, a little bit of blue thalo. I put some unicorn spit. Um, gel stain bloom or gel bloom stain or whatever it's called uh, in there. Uh, adds a nice little blue sparkle. And I think I put a little bit of blue interference, um, which I think was by Deco Art. The two colors I'm going to use on top of that, and I'm going to spread it around, is, um, what is it? it <laughs> It is Quinacridone Magenta by Goldens. I put a little tiny bit of um, DecoArt Enchanted Magenta in because I had just a wee bit left. Uh, I don't know if it'll make much difference. Uh, I just had some left. It was not enough to save. Uh, it would have just dried out in a few hours. So it's in here. We'll see how that works out. Uh, and then DecoArt Teal. For the bloom area, I am using Amsterdam's Thalo Blue, which is just gorgeous. It, it looks metallic. I don't know if it comes out that way, but it's beautiful blue color. I have Deco Arts Iridescent Gold Fine. And I have my mixture of Artist Loft White mixed with Amsterdam white. Okay, so let me get this organized a little bit and uh, we'll see what we can come up with here. So background first. That's the plan. if you can tell but this definitely is a very deep blue compared to that black I have around the edges but it is black mixed with mostly Prussian blue looks like I probably should have mixed more too but I think it's going to spread out okay better. These omelet spatulas are wonderful for spreading paint out evenly. I've never used one to actually do an omelet, to twist, to flip an omelet. I probably should try that because they work so well with the with spreading the paint. I'm going to get it on my on the sides as well. So that's covered. I know this is probably the most boring part for you guys to watch. 
but it is a necessary process in creating fluid art. Without it, uh, unless you used a whole heck of a lot of paint in the pour, um, your paint isn't going to go smoothly over the edges. And it isn't going to cover the edges either. So that's why we do this. Make sure it's not too thick on top. I don't have too much paint. Okay, let's torch the air bubbles. Just a few little drizzles here. I'm going to be spreading this all around with the uh, palette knife. Hope I didn't use too much of the paint on here. Oh, that deco art enchanted. <laughs> you can see that beautiful metallic glimmer in it already. There was hardly anything left in there. And it's really making a difference. I don't know if that's going to work well with this nebula or not. I think in a nebula it doesn't matter. You get so many different colors and shapes and uh, and texture. When you look at those those pictures, oops, that we get from NASA. Thank you, NASA, for those beautiful photos of the universe. A little more blue over here. trying to be conservative with it, but I can see I need some more color. All right, one more 
time. I don't know if you can see, it looks like a purpley metallic in there. It's very pretty. Catches the light beautifully. Wish me luck. Here comes the white. Oh, there was a lot of white. Ah. Some gold over there too. It's not gonna matter when I blow everything out. Okay. Got my blow dryer here. I'm going to put it on high on cool. You never want to make it too hot because it's gonna start cooking and drying the paint. We don't want that.
It's a little whiter than I'd hoped for. It's because I it's too much white. But it's basically more of a a wild and free Dutch blowout. It's not the perfect little petals, which I don't want. I want it to look a little more uh, wild and free. I like how the background turned out here. That looks really good. Spots here I'm not too happy with. It's easy to amend. You can see the uh, gold fine is taken off more here. I would have liked more of that through here. Look at all these great cells here. I believe that's from the the gold fine. You know, now that I think about it, it was leftover paint. I think I had a little bit of deco art 14 karat gold as well as the gold fine in it. Might need a little more definition with the finger paint, fingers coming through, just to kind of break up all that white. But I'm not sure, I kind of like it the way it is. Even though it's a little too much white for me. I don't know if I if I need the uh, chopstick here to do anything. I don't want it to make, look too much, you know, swirly. Or it just needs to be soft, as you might see in the universe. There really aren't any hard lines or little points and fixes. I guess there could be. There's all kinds of shapes and colors that form the universe. I like this. I like doing this in the background. So I'm thinking of maybe doing a little more like that and that wee wee bit of the decor enchanted just really stands out. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, it's pretty cool. All right, my friends. Well, I'm gonna call that done. Let me take you down and give you a close up. Okay, here we go. You pardon the reflection from the lights. That's just part of what you're gonna see all the time. As you can see that gold glimmer, but you see there's a little there's a purple metallic in there, right? Through here mostly. And I think when it dries, that might show up even more. I love, oh, how that blended. All of these paints today I mixed with Krista's Mix because it leaves a, a very subtle translucence. So you can see through the colors into the ones below it, like right there, the blue coming through on the white. It holds shape pretty well too. Well, this is very cool, I'm liking this. And I hadn't planned on cells, but <laughs> there they are. I don't mind that so much. I don't think I've seen any NASA photos with cells like that in nebulas, but it's a first. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed watching this, please give me a thumbs up and share and subscribe. I will show you the dry results after this. Bye-bye. Hey, there's the dry result. It's varnished. Pretty gold in there. I'm sorry, I've got a shadow in here. You can see how well that blends and a lot of nice movement to it. See that magenta in there with the blue in the background. Here's the 
little green that's from the gold hitting the, the um, deep blue background there's a little purple in there that's from the magenta blending with the blue fun to do. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you next time. Take care. Be well.